I'm going to show you today how to um, put together your rain barrel kit. These are the materials that you will need. And mine all came in a kit. So when you purchase your rain barrel, um, you will probably get all this in your kit. Um, you're going to first add a hole 12 inches from the bottom where you would like your spout. Um, and then six inches over approximately halfway down from that, about three inches from the bottom, you'll want your extra drain. So starting with your small hole saw, you're going to do a one inch hole here and here. You can use a little fingernail file to sand off some of that little plastic um, debris and then you're going to take the little um, the threaded rubber seals and put it into the two holes. So it helps if you kind of push it in the shape of a V. There's one. And two. Then your spigot just screws into there. So I took the lid off um, so that I could see when the hole cuts through and I'm using the inch and a half, which is the medium that came in my kit, approximately three inches from the top without the lid on. Then the fill hole seal goes into that hole. This is the largest hole saw that came in my kit. It's two and an eighth. And I'm going to drill it so that it sits just above where my drainage hole is going to be so that it has a positive slope for the rainwater, but not too much. So if you wanna use a level to come across, could use a longer level. Um, but I'm gonna eyeball it and put my hole right here. Then what you're going to do is you want to stick this part into your hole. So you're going to want to kind of squeeze it to get it in. You don't want to force it. You don't want to twist it because the metal is sharp. And then I'm going to change out my bit for my drill and drill this in. This is the hose that will transfer the rainwater from here to my barrel. This is where some soapy water might come in handy. All right, so I've got my tube connected. This is your winter cover. You will unscrew this and screw this piece on in the winter. Don't keep your barrel out all year. It'll freeze and thaw and damage the connections. Last but not least, I'm going to put this cute little sticker on. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope that you can find a rain barrel in your area um, and start conserving water. I really love having my rain barrels like handy and I just keep a little um, watering can right near it and um, you can also hook a hose up to it so it's really a great way to save water um, and help the environment so i'm amy kunkel from conscious amy and amykunkel.com thanks again for joining me hope you have a great day